So we're at the, the base of the wall now. Bob, do we want to proceed to the next uh, waypoint here in High Pack? Correct. Uh, but I, as we get up on this deeper part and start seeing some uh, interesting uh, corals that, and so forth that, that? through there, we want to go lateral along the wall for a while to eat like 20 meter contours or so. Sir, did you see that on the left? It looked like a little palm tree. There, there it is. is. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to think it is some sort of cnidarian. Um, <laughs> it looks soft yeah. and tentacly. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has the whole sea pen thing going, but the, the top of it's quite interesting. Yeah. Steve, Steve from the lounge just said that the genus is Umbalua. Umbalua? And it's a sea pen? Um, okay, we gotta get moving. Yes, yeah. it is a Zoom sea out. pen. Oh, what do we have off to the right the white, there? Yeah. Can we pan right? Hi, could we hold position, please? Oh, uh, no, yeah, sponge, yeah. yeah. Wow. Trash. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. That looked like some of that heterocone. Dave, do you want to zoom on that? I do. I don't know if anybody else does, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Here, go for it. That's too far. All right. No, you're All fine. Right. You're fine. <laughs> Some okay. squat lobsters there here. in view. Oh, cool. Over on the left. That's beautiful. Do you get closer That's than you thought? Let's yes, look at a couple did. more of these uh, outcrops in this area and then okay. proceed up slope. So, Sarah, these it, would it be safe to say that these animals wouldn't typically ever encounter light? Yeah, I think that would be fair to say. Um, the pelagic ones who could swim always have the potential to swim up higher, but um, with the benthic organisms here, we're at a deep enough depth that, yeah, I don't think that they would see light. Let's have a look at that spire. A, a little bit of a leftover from what probably was a big slide here. Left a little bit of a spire left over here, I think. Or maybe it's a chimney of some kind. Yeah, that's what I think it looks more like. Uh, it even has that, like a slight indentation up there. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe you could poke at this a little bit to see if it's how hard it is. Yeah, zoom out. Ooh, is that a pom pom anemone there? I believe the word you're looking for is koosh ball. <laughs> Showing your rage there, Gabby. I know, I know. They, they really look like koosh balls. But he was balls. saying that from, from another idea. Little shrimp swimming by there. So we're seeing this chimney structure here that we've just come upon. We're going to give it a little tap. Zoom in. Ever so slightly. Just to see how hard it is. It's hard. Yeah, that looks hard. I wonder if it's an old uh, carbonate from a plumbing system underneath or something. Yeah, that's what I think would be the most logical explanation as of now for it. Uh. So another there's any way we can get a sample of it would be good, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be easier said than done. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. Yeah. Oh! oh he breaks off a piece. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Bob Embley, what did you mean by plumbing there? Well, if, uh, if there's yeah, a no. sea beach down th in through here, fluid, fluid venting, it can form a plumbing system underneath and precipitate carbonate underneath the sediment so that you can wind up with a, a whole plumbing system under there. And then if erosion happens or a big slide happens, you can get that exposed. And so you can get the harder material sticks up because it's harder to erode it. So that's when you get the exposure of the car of carbonate. If this is carbonate, it may not be. It just may be a slightly harder material in the general strata here that's left uh, as a remnant uh, after the slide has occurred. Thanks, Bob. 